Hi, I'm Dr. Gabby Cora and welcome to my show, Dr. Gabby's Take, Make Life Interesting. thing that you, you also always mention is how differently you can be affected by the virus. The, the effects of the virus on, on her were different than on you and were different uh, on, on your little one. Right. What was that? Well, HIV, one of the reasons why in 2011 we still don't have a cure is because HIV is a highly complex uh, virus and it mutates and uh, the genetics plays a very significant role. In, in this process, so you could be infected with the same two individuals or three individuals, whatever number of individuals, they could be infected with the same strain of the virus, but it's not going to happen the same. I mean, they're, they're not going to have the same the symptoms. So genetics, the environment, nutrition, your past history plays a very important role. And uh, so that's, how, that, that's one of the reasons why we see that some people, they, they get sick, even though they're taking antiretrovirals, they actually get sick very rapidly, and some other people that they uh, they don't get it. They don't they, they don't get any symptoms. And even there's some people where, which is called uh, slow progressors. They they never take they, they never take medications. I know I, I know people that they've been uh, HIV positive for over a quarter of a century, 25 years, and they have never had the the the, the need to take antiretrovirals. So there's so many differences and. At the same time, there's so many myths that you may have encountered from the very beginning, and obviously you, you've self-educated, and then you've made your life of, of educating other people. But what are the most common myths that well, you think affect the, us? Well, if we go back, if we take a look and see, okay, what are the roots of um, HIV stigma? What I can see is a, there was a paradigm 30 years ago HIV AIDS was equals to sex and drugs, which was equals to scenes, people, you know, seniors. And then it was, which was equal to death. So then people, they made the connection between the disease and death because there was sex and drugs and rock and roll in between. And people, you know, especially at the time, you know, he, as, as you well know, it wasn't even called 30 years ago, AIDS it was called greed, gay-related immune disease, because the scientific community thought that it was actually happening only within the, the gay population. But that has changed. That has shifted long time ago. We know that more and more women are getting infected with the virus. Not only that, worldwide, every minute, six adolescents, they get infected with HIV, starting their sexual life. Of those six adolescents, four are girls, two are boys. So it's really a shift. However, the connection between the disease and the gay community still, I mean, it's very much alive. And that is something that we still have to educate the people because more and more heterosexuals are getting infected because they just think this has nothing to do with our sex life. This is only happening still within the gay community, and guess what? That is not the case.